Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Today, I'm playing for you the didgeridoo. The didgeridoo is the instrument of the aboriginals of Australia. Now, before we get started, I do have a disclaimer to give you that I'm sure probably some of you are not going to believe. But I am not an aboriginal. <laughs> I do not play in the aboriginal style, and I've never even been to Australia. <laughs> I'd love to go one of these days, but at this point I've never been. But what I am is a huge fan of this instrument. I've been playing it for many years now, and it literally has changed my life. Now the didgeridoo is the oldest woodwind known to man. How old, you might ask? No one's really sure. Cave paintings have put the didgeridoo at about 40,000 years old, but most experts believe it's a lot older than that. Now, modern-day didgeridoos can be made out of all kinds of different materials. This particular one is made out of fiberglass, but I've also seen it made out of plastic, wood, bamboo, clay, leather, PVC, Pretty much anything you can turn into a narrow, hollow tube, you can probably play it like a didgeridoo. A more traditional didgeridoo, however, like this one, is usually made out of eucalyptus wood that's been hollowed out by termites, also known as great ants. Now, what the uh, aboriginals will do, they'll walk the forest of Australia, knocking on trees, hoping to hear something that sounds hollow. If they find something that sounds hollow, first of all, they know they're not going to kill the tree because that tree is already dead. Also, they know that the termites have been inside and have already done their magic. So what they'll do is they'll chop the tree. They'll strip all the bark off of it, plug up any holes that there might be in it, clean out the inside, make sure that there's no residue still in there, maybe even paint the didgeridoo and possibly put a wax mouthpiece on it. And that's basically how a didgeridoo is made. So now I'm going to play another rhythm for you, but this time I'm going to take you on a journey, a journey into another world. So I invite you to close your eyes and listen and imagine. Imagine the sounds that are being made and what might be making those sounds. Also, the environments those sounds might be in. And then, when the rhythm starts, just let it take you wherever you want to go.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.